resultant of two forces P and Q acting at an angle theta is equal to 2m plus 1 into under root of P square plus Q square and when they act at an angle 90 minus theta the resultant is 2m minus 1 into under root of P square plus Q square then you have to find the value of tan theta in terms of m. So we'll use the basic formula and that is the resultant square is equal to f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos of angle between them. So using that relation one can start. We can write the first And by rearranging them, In terms, we get which is equal to that is the option number C. So C is the correct answer. If two forces P plus Q and P minus Q makes an angle to alpha with each other and their resultant makes angle theta with the bisector of the angle between the two forces then the ratio p over q is equal to you are given the options now before we enter into the question the very first thing is since p plus q is more than p minus q so the angle resultant will make with the greater force will be alpha minus theta because 2 alpha is the angle between the two forces and theta uh, the result is the resultant is making uh, with the bisector so the angle with the greater force will be alpha minus theta so using that we enter into the question we enter into the question with the logic tan theta is equal to Q sin alpha upon P plus Q cos alpha. Here it is tan alpha minus theta and Q is P minus Q. Alpha is to alpha, so it is sine to alpha upon we open tan A minus B. So when you open tan A minus B, it turns to Now, in the meantime, if I compare, this is a trick for the entrances. So, if I compare, just see.
And by comparing, you can see that we have tan theta equals. So the ratio P over Q is tan alpha over tan theta, which is option number D. So D is the correct answer. Therefore, D is the correct answer, which is tan alpha over tan theta. We hope that you got the answer.